Bleach Green During the reign of Henry VIII, ladies from Hetton were reputed to have grown, gathered and sold flax or lime for one shilling and sixpence, that's seven and a half p a bundle. The linen was then laid on bleach green to be bleached by the sun, hence the name. This area was once the site of two cottages, a brewery and a smithy. Mrs. Emmett worked as a blacksmith and a farrier at one time. She was not the only lady blacksmith here. Women's lib came early to Hedden. Richie's Triumph Garage. In 1898, Ralph Ritchie opened a hardware shop at the front of his workshop. In 1925, it was said that Ralph Ritchie was one of the engineers working at Cragside, the revolutionary home of Lord Armstrong, the first house in the world to be lit by electricity. Ralph's two sons soon recognised that mechanised load carrying would be a big earner. The Ritchie brothers, Ernest and Norman, took over the two Sharabanks, the Silver King of Adams who had been using Richie's front showroom. They then bought an XWD Crossley wagon chassis and had it converted into a Sharabank, possibly the Triumph, which gave its name to the garage. Hetton Social Club The Conservative Club was built at a cost of £2,000 in 1897 and donated to the Joycey Colliers in 1940 by Sir Lindsay Wood's son, Arthur. Today it is better known as The Social Club. The building of the Imperial Theatre and Cinema in Station Road stood next to The Social Club. It was completed in 1926. Although built as a cinema, it was also used for live shows, the first production being performed by the Hetton Opera Company. Mr. A. Shaw of Fawcett Street, Sunland, a furniture dealer, was a sponsor and apparently organised a clock to be installed at the right-hand side of the stage. Mr. Tom Hall, previous duty doorman of the Standard Theatre, was doorman at the Imperial, followed by Mr. Kirtley. It closed in 1962. Now demolished, it is the site of the Social Club car park. It was, before the Imperial, the site of the Hemmels, a group of farm buildings, Station Road, was originally known as Hemmel's Lane. Close Villa By 1853 the growth in primitive Methodism was such that a new house was built for the circuit minister in Station Road. It will be known as Close Villa. Named after William Close, one of the founders of primitive Methodism. The Reverend W. R. De Winton was killed in his bed by the fall of a chimney during a gale on January 23, 1903. His portrait is engraved on his tombstone in Hetton Cemetery. On the other corner was Goyne's Army and Navy Surplus Store, formerly a billiard hall with shops below. Hetton Railway Station Next on the right hand side Hetton Railway Station, where now is the W2W cycle route, the Hetton Railway Station was opened on August 7, 1837. Stationary engines with rope haulage were in operation between Durham and Sunderland. In 1860, locomotives were introduced. In 1953, the line closed to passenger trains. Goods trains continued to use the line until 1961. Dr. A. B. Granville wrote of travelling as a passenger in 1841. The journey from Durham to Sunderland took two and a quarter hours, mainly due to changing of ropes at each stationary engine. On the left hand side of the road, the railway would have run through the centre of the new bungalow which has been built there. As the line reached the Hetton Colliery Railway, it would go underneath through the Hetton Tunnel and up to Merton. Again on the right hand side, the building originally called Sunderland House was built in 1895 as a police station with two cells on Station Road. It's now a care home called Primrose Care Home. Further down the road, once a dangerous crossroads where there were tragic accidents, has now been converted into two mini roundabouts. In the past, the location of the garage of Sydney Sparrow. The area is known as the Four Lane Ends. On Four Lane Ends, we have the new inn. On the 31st of October 1891, John William Johnson sat brooding in the new inn. 
he was besotted with Margaret Addison, his landlady. But Margaret was to marry another, minor Andrew Simpson on this day. He knew Margaret would have to pass that way. He followed her and called her name. As she turned, Johnson shot her in the head and she lay dead in a pool of blood. He then walked to the nearby police station at Bogrow and handed himself in. He went to the gallows on December 22nd, 1891. Just beyond the last house on the right hand side, the path was the route to Stevenson Railway from Elmore Colliery. The adjacent field was first the pit pony field, then the football field of Hetton Juniors. To the right of that is Hetton Lions Cricket Club. The club was formed in 1865 on land belonging to the Boers Lion family. In 1886, the club amalgamated with Easington Lane Lily Whites. The club played in the Durham Coast League and was the first ever team to win the league in 1926. Hentley Hall's proud cricketing tradition is being maintained by successful junior teams who are competing in the Durham County Cricket League, North East Premier League. Lindsay Wood, James Joycey and other local businessmen were patrons. Turning into the Lions Industrial Estate, it was developed on the site of the former Lions Colliery, the first deep coal mine in East Durham. The premises of real work include what was formerly the wagon repair shops, where wagons were repaired and made ready to carry coal from the colliery to the steaths. 